commencement of the second phase of the Tamale Airport project. It is a seminal moment in the growth and development of this historic city, Tamale, and I commend the Minister for Aviation, the Honorable Joseph Kufiada, Member of Parliament for Navrungo, for making today's event a reality. I'm also very glad to see the Yana Mahama Abukari II at this important event. It is good to have the overlord of Dagbon, the symbol of peace in Dagbon, here with us. The expansion of this airport is a critical part of government's vision to expand the frontiers of the aviation industry in the country and to realize the dream of making Ghana an aviation hub in West Africa. Yana, ladies and gentlemen, the construction of an ultra-modern terminal building together with the multi-purpose hatch facility and other ancillary facilities will provide the needed impetus for increased economic and trading activities and will reinforce the status of Tamale as a sub-Saharan hub for flights to and from neighboring West African countries and the Sahel region. The Tamale International Airport, when completed, will also serve as a complement to the Accra Kutoka International Airport. Significantly, it is also expected that the completion of this project will make Tamale the center of Hajj related activities in the country and will facilitate seamless travels from Ghana directly to Saudi Arabia for the pilgrimage to Mecca. We need to do more works than the terminal, like uh, access roads, all of the utilities like water supply, power, telecommunications, and this is the beginning of the new airport city. And of course, a new airport with more aircraft, so that will be an alternative of, of Kotoka. The second phase of the Tamale Airport project, estimated at a cost of some 70 million United States dollars, is scheduled to be completed in 13 months. Funding for this project has been secured, made possible by facilities from UK Export Finance and KFW IPEX Bank of Germany, for which we are grateful. Advanced mobilization has been processed for payment to the contractors. 30 months is 30 months, and the contractors must deliver the project on time to avoid any cost overruns. As part of government's resolve to increase domestic aviation activities, a host of other projects are ongoing, and these include phases two and three of Kumasi Airport and the rehabilitation of Sunyani Airport. In addition to the development of infrastructure for the domestic aviation sector, the elimination in 2017 by government of the 17.5% VAT on domestic ticket sales has reduced the cost of tickets and double the frequency of domestic air travels. We are determined to boost the domestic aviation industry. Yana, I'm delighted once again at your presence here, and I assure you that this project is a sign of greater things to come for Tamale and the northern region, and indeed for the whole nation. Government's commitment, government's commitment to the development of all parts of Ghana without discrimination is absolute. I'm hopeful that all of us gathered here will be present again here in 30 months, God willing, for the commissioning of this project. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.